Jeremiah delivered the word of God and recorded it. Sometimes he had to do something strange and unfamiliar. God wanted Israelite people who had not understood by hearing to understand by seeing Jeremiah's action. In the book of Jeremiah 18 and 19, there is a story about a potter who makes bowls with clay. God asked Jeremiah to go to a potter's house. When he arrived there, a potter was making a jar with clay. If the potter made any mistake, he would ball the clay up and shape it up again. All lumps of clay are not made exactly as the potter intended, but in case he made mistakes, he could do it again any time. While Jeremiah was looking at the scene, the word of God came to him. Like clay in the hands of the potter, like the potter who could do anything with the clay in his hand. I can punish or forgive any people or nation in the world. If Israel returns from their wrong ways and live according to the will of God, God is willing to forgive them. However, people ignore Jeremiah's message. They said, Come, let's make plans against Jeremiah, for the teaching of the law by the priest will not cease, nor will counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophets. They plotted to kill Jeremiah. Jeremiah prayed while weeping. He asked for God's grace. God called Jeremiah again and said, Go and buy a clay jar from the potter. Take along some of the elders of the people and of the priests and go out to the valley of the son of Hinnom. There, Jeremiah proclaimed about the disasters and crisis which would come. Because you have forsaken God and served foreign gods, he will ruin the plans of Judah and Jerusalem, and he will make you a laughing stock before many countries. Then Jeremiah broke the jar while people were watching. Clay on a potter's hand can be repaired. However, a jar, if smashed and broken, cannot. God told Jeremiah when he called him, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. God is the one who knows us and who shaped us as a man and a woman. He wanted us to repent by listening to the story of the potter. He wants us as his piece of work, not to be broken painfully. He just wants us to understand his good will before being perished. Music